I think an ideal system uh, is, is a system that is sort of based first and foremost on the public interest, okay? So uh, multinational corporations, uh, they are not benevolent institutions. They, they are not there to support public education, despite what they say, right? Um, and so when they are brought into universities and when they are part of the formula for funding universities, that has an effect. Uh, there are pressures created, even if they're not explicitly stated. The fact that the university knows that it's getting a whole lot of funding from an organization that promotes private prisons is going to mean that it's not, it's, it's going to feel some pressures to sort of self-censor when it, when it would come to, for example, research on private prisons and that sort of thing. So these, these kinds of pressures are real. So um, now that said, I think, I think, you know, it's not to say that we should maybe, that, that there, there's no role for any private institution but, or, or private businesses to be serving food on campus. But I would say that if, we're, if you're gonna go to that, like be, to be supporting local small businesses that are employing students, that are giving back to the local community, uh, doing that sort of thing. And, the, and that are maybe models of social and ecological sustainability. Like, again, this is, this is a public institution and it's an institution about about education and about learning and I think the the, the, the the businesses that operate should be a reflection of that and this shouldn't be just selling off higher education to the highest bidder um, so again if there was a diversity of smaller players none of which were big enough to create real pressures on the university I could see that as somewhat acceptable, but I think the ideal model is to go with, with student-run co-ops. I mean, this is just from what we've seen with the People's Potato, with the, with the, with the, fr the, the Frigo Vert. I mean, this, this is a way that, that the profits from, from these organizations are given back to the community. That, they, that, that basically any profits that are made go then to support student life. Uh, and, and, and so I, I, for me, the criteria should be like, are they in line with, with the public mission and public interests involved in public education, number one, and related to that, are they, are they giving something back? Is there, is there something that they are actually adding to, to the community as a whole? And that is exactly the problem with multinational corporations coming onto campus. They don't add anything. They they take, uh, they take profits, and they're just by them existing on campus, they create pressures uh, that that should have no place in in a public institution uh, like a university.